Hey, this is Ryan Johnson with E3 Technologies. In this video, we're going to take a look at the slider joint inside of Fusion 360. For this, I'm going to be using the Ember build assembly for this 3D printer. And we're going to animate this build arm sliding up and down on the column. First of all, you'll notice that I've already created a rigid group out of these components so they can kind of move wherever they need to. In this video, we're going to cover the as-built joint and the regular joint in the slider configuration. We're going to start with the as-built joint. This will be the simpler of the two. In this case, we imported the model with the components already in the correct location. So the as-built joint does not require you to pick positioning points. Only the two components in the direction you want them to move, which is great in this situation. So we get the little as-built joint dialog box. If the type is set to rigid or one of the others, you can go ahead and pre-pick slider. That'll just make it a little bit easier. I prefer to pick the moving component first and then the stationary component second. That way my animation preview is better. And then we pick the direction we want the motion to happen. So you'll notice you have any face, any edge, um, cylindrical faces, circular edges, I'm going to go ahead and pick an edge that points in the direction I want the motion to go. And so we'll just pick the middle of this edge. In this case, the motion doesn't pick the right one initially, but I can easily change that in the slide box. You can pick any of the other directions to preview the motion in that direction. And the z-axis in this case is what I want. So all I have to do is hit OK. And now we've got a nice slider joint. Now I'm going to backtrack a little bit with my undo here. We'll go back to before we built the joint. And we'll look at a scenario where the object is not already lined up where it needs to be. In this case, we need to use our regular joint tool. So again, I'm going to pick the moving component first. And this time we need to worry about what points we're lining up between the two. So I think this would be the easiest to line up with the middle point. I'm going to go ahead and pick the middle top point on that face. And we'll pick the same corresponding face in the middle of the column. So move over here. And we have some options here for offsets and things like that. In this case, the bar does not need to be all the way against the column. I happen to know from the design, this, was, this is the initial orientation, but I would like it to be offset 3 millimeters. So we'll go ahead and add that in there. And you'll notice I also added a 20 just to kind of offset it uh, down in this Y direction. And then the preview, again, we notice the as you click in any of these boxes, the corresponding axis will highlight. So we can see here clearly we want the direction to be the Y direction for the slide. So click there and I get the proper preview. All right. So now that I've created it, it moves properly. If you want some more advanced options, if we look in the joint in the browser, there's an edit joint limits dialog box, which gives you the ability to add maximum and minimum and resting positions, which is kind of nice also. Otherwise, that is my overview of the slider joint inside of Fusion 360. So hopefully that gave you a couple good tips. As always, if you have any more questions or would like more information, feel free to reach out to our team.